Guam Water Authority's precautionary boil water notice is causing confusion with local restaurants. Though establishments are not mandated to boil water from GWA, the Department of Public Health's Division of Environmental Health is enforcing the advisory. Public Information Officer Don Sulat says they cannot authorize the use of water from GWA if it's not boiled until the notice is lifted. GWA issued a precautionary boil water notice out of an abundance of caution as they are still not at normal pressures. On their official podcast channel, they make a distinction from a mandatory boil water notice. GWA Senior Regulatory Analyst Vanji Luhan. A mandatory boil water notice is issued if the laboratory analysis confirms that contaminants are present in the water through a positive test for Escherichia coli, or commonly known as E. coli. Currently, none of the sampling and analysis indicates positive results for these bacteria in GWA's water. GWA adding their water is tested daily and safe to drink. Water from GWA's system is safe to drink and to use. It is tested daily during this typhoon recovery period. GWA's water that comes to your tap at home or from GWA's water tankers stationed at the different villages is safe to drink and to use. Meanwhile, residents are encouraged to continue boiling their water until further notice from GWA or Guam EPA. This precautionary notice will remain in effect until the system is restored to normal pressure. Testing confirms that the water remains safe and Guam EPA concurs that the notice can be lifted. It's important to note the confusion comes over Guam EPA's do not drink order, which they since clarified does not apply to GWA water. Matsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.